What's up guys, Kyle here for Colossal Designs and I'm going to be doing another Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys today. Uh, we're going to be learning how to use the pblurb function in Cinema 4D. So right away go in and change your output to 1280720 and then create a floor. Create your uh, a text spline and change it to whatever you want your first text to be. I'm going to put mine as Colossal and then drag it down so you're going to get another one and make this one whatever you want your second one to be. So I'm going to select both my text and choose the font Batman Forever, but you can use whatever font you'd like. And then you're going to want to go to your NURBS and hit get two extrude NURBS and put your first text into the first one and your second text into the second one. And then with the extrude NURBS selected, you're going to rotate. You're going to have your first text at about 40 degrees and just push it back. So with your second extrude NURBS, you're going to do about negative 40 degrees and push it back again. So it should look something like that. And then with both your text objects selected, you're going to hit C on your keyboard to make them editable. Select all of them, hit ob go to objects, connect and delete. With the first one, we're going to name this whatever your first text is and rename the second extrude nerves to whatever your next text is. So then you're going to get something that looks like this. Now you're going to go to simulation, thinking particles, particle geometry. This is found somewhere else in other versions, but I'm using version R12 of Cinema 4D. So now you're going to go to your cube and then hit null and go to tags, Cinema 4D, tags, espresso. Now you're going to get a window that will appear that looks something like this. So what you're going to do is go to right click it, hit new node, thinking particles, TP generator, P blurb, and you'll get some up something that appears like this and you'll, you'll get a uh, thing on the side so you're gonna drag your first text into the first slot so both of them will be in the objects then you'll get these little stars that will appear on the first text but this hasn't been animated yet so nothing will happen so change your frames to about 150 go to the very beginning of your timeline hit control on the animation plane animation phase sorry and then go to about 140 set this to about a hundred percent and then right click it again select a keyframe so now if you play it it's gonna look like that and you're gonna get your first text fading in your second text so then if you select both both objects in your thing in the objects panel go to count 150 thickness six percent and then yeah it'll look like that so it's just going to make more pieces and they're going to be a little thicker. All right. So now what we're going to do is just add some color. I'm going to add a chrome floor and just white text to both of them. And then I'm going to go over to the designs in Colossal and I'm going to take both of them off and put them to red. So now when you look at it, if you render it, it'll only be your first text. But now once you hit play, the text will slowly fade out into your second text. Okay, so now we're going to add some light. So you're going to go over to your light, hit light, drag it high up, go to shadow, and then hit shadow maps soft under the shadow drop down menu. So that's just going to give the uh, text a nice shadow to it. So now we're going to animate this by using the, with the camera. So make sure the camera is white the little box beside it and you're going to position it over your text keyframe it make sure it's at the start go to about frame 130 rotate it kind of in this general area keyframe it go to 140 hit keyframe again just so it stays in this position go to the very last keyframe which is frame 150 for this tutorial zoom all the way in so it's just gonna be a gray screen so now if we play what we've made you're gonna get the text it's gonna fade into the second text and it's gonna look something like that 
Uh, you might have different colors, but that's the basics of this tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Message for any more suggestions on future tutorials. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.